Okay, still going through some example problems on implicit differentiation, and here's the next example. x to the fifth y cubed plus 2x equals 29. Find dy dx at x equals 1. So let's differentiate this implicitly. We'll just take the derivative of each side with respect to x. So the derivative of the left side will do term by term, and this first term is a product. So let's do the derivative of this with respect to x. So that's going to be the first times the derivative of the second, and that's 3y squared, and then times y primed, the derivative of y by the chain rule. So that's the first times the derivative of the second, plus the second, which is y cubed, times the derivative of the first, which is 5x to the fourth. And let me just point out that when we take the derivative of the x to the fifth right here and we get 5x to the fourth, we don't apply the chain rule because we're taking the derivative with respect to x. But when we took the derivative of the y cubed and got the 3y squared, remember we're thinking of y as a function of x because we're finding the derivative of y with respect to x. So the chain rule comes into play. If you're thinking of y as a function of x, then y cubed is this function of x, y cubed. So we have an inner function and an outer function. That's why we use the chain rule here, but not there. So what this is, is the derivative of x to the fifth y cubed. Now we need to do the derivative of 2x with respect to x, and that's just 2. And the derivative of the right side is 0. All right, not too bad. We just need to do a little algebra and solve this for y primed. So let's put all the other stuff on the other side. x to the fifth times 3y squared times y primed will be negative 5x to the fourth y cubed minus 2. Just rearranged the factors there a little bit to put it in a little bit more standard form. And then we need to divide both sides by this to isolate the y primed. So y primed, and that's what I'm looking for, dy dx, y primed will be negative 5x to the fourth y cubed minus 2 over 3x to the fifth y squared. And none of these things can simplify because of this minus 2 here. So we'll just leave it like that. Now we need to find the derivative at x equals 1. So let's think about this for a second. At x equals 1. Well, if we're trying to find y primed, the derivative, we can find it using this formula. We'll plug in 1 for x right here and right there. So that's pretty easy. But what do we plug in for y? Well, we need to know what y is when x equals 1. We're finding it at x equals 1, so the derivative at x equals 1, we need values for x and y to plug in right there. So at x equals 1, we can just put in a 1 for x here in the original equation and solve for y. And that will give me the number to plug in right here. So at x equals 1, I'm going to rewrite this equation, but putting in 1 for x. So this will be 1 to the fifth times y cubed plus 2 times 1 equals 29. And this works out kind of nicely. That comes out to y cubed equals 27. So y is equal to 3. So I'm going to put in x equals 1 and y equals 3 into this equation. And when I do that, I get negative 5 times 1 to the fourth times 3 cubed, which is 27. Then there's the minus 2, and all that is over 3 times 1 to the fifth. I won't even write the factor of 1 times y squared, which is 9. And this works out to a negative 137 over 27. Okay, here's our next example, x squared plus xy equals 10, and we need to find dy dx when x equals 2. And let me make a quick comment. A problem very similar to this has appeared on AP exam in the past, and in general, 
implicit differentiation shows up uh, quite often on AP exams. Uh, every every AP calculus exam I have seen has had multiple questions on it on this topic. So this is a good a good thing to study preparing for the AP exam. So let's do this. Let's differentiate this by taking the derivative with respect to x of each side. And we'll do this term by term. So the first term is easy. The derivative with respect to x is just 2x. And then the derivative here is a product. So I'll do the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Not too bad. And the derivative of the 10 is just 0. So doing a little algebra here, x times y primed will be negative 2x minus y. I just took these two guys and put them over here on the other side and they became negative when they crossed the equal sign. So y primed, what I'm looking for, is equal to negative 2x minus y over x. And I want to find this when x equals 2. Okay, so at x equals 2, that means I'll be plugging in a 2 for x right here, but I also need, need to know what to plug in for y. So I'll take the original equation and put in 2 for x. So my original equation looks like this at x equals 2. It's 2 squared plus 2 times y equals 10. And I can solve this for y, and that will be the number that I put in for y when I calculate the derivative. So 2 squared here is 4. Subtracting 4 from each side gives me 2y equals 6. So y is 3. So that's not too bad. And then I'll get my final answer here. y primed then is going to be negative 2 times 2, which is putting in 2 right there for x, minus y, which is 3, over x, which again is 2. So that's a negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7 over 2, and I have an answer.